Hello everybody, good morning Nigeria, good morning Africa, good morning the world. My name is Abu Yua. I'm the CEO of Sony Analytics and I'm also a data engineer, data analyst and data scientist at Conga Online Shopping. It's like more like a three in one setting. <laughs> um, you're welcome to this show put together by Kazim. Thanks so much for having me on this one. And today we're going to talk about how data academies make data science and analytics easier for enthusiasts and people that are interested in it. So basically, what are data academies? Um, let's look at it like a school, right? A school where you go to learn data. A school where you go to learn data science, learn data analysis, learn so many things. Like It's more like a school that is dedicated on teaching data, introducing you to the world of data and giving you um, steps and classes on how you can make it better in the world of data, understanding data better, right? Data academies, there are so many that have sprung up right now. There are five V's of, of data, right? There's the volume, there's the velocity, there's veracity, there's value, and there's variety, right? And in the world these days, data is being produced every millisecond, like right? terabytes of data are produced every millisecond. So there's an increase in demand for data analysts and data scientists, right? There's an increase in demand for people that can process this data and be able to analyze this data and get insights from data, right? And there are so many people that have started building interest in learning this thing called data analysis and data science, right? Now, most people you meet today, most data scientists, um, software engineers, programmers, everybody that basically works on tech, in tech rather, will tell you, oh, I'm self-taught, right? I'm self-taught, I just went on Stack Overflow, Google, YouTube, Udemy and the likes like that. and. I learned it myself. Nobody actually put me through these things. But if we're being honest, right? Somebody that was self-taught and somebody that had the opportunity of learning from somebody else that has made mistakes before, right? The rate at which two of them are going to learn the same thing is going to be way different, right? Somebody that is self-taught, we have to learn by himself, make mistakes and correct himself, right? But somebody that learns that learns from a teacher would already the teacher would already make him know that okay these are the mistakes i made so don't go this direction you can go this other direction right and so kind of make it easier for that person to learn let me give you an example when i started data science i learned i was self-taught also i took some courses on udemy i took some on coursera um, and a couple of others youtube stack overflow there were some guys krishnaik and um, sensex on youtube i used to follow those guys a lot and I, I was kind of learning myself. I think I was using I was using R then. I started with R, so I was using ggplot2 and those things. I was okay. It was cool. I was going, but all of a sudden I saw something on Twitter, and it was like because I was in uh, it was during my service year. I was at home. I was always indoors, right? I was just learning myself. I didn't really have people I could. If I had problems, I'll just call somebody and be like, oh, guys, yeah, I get this problem. How are we going to solve it? I was kind of learning myself. I was like a loner because uh, I didn't know any other person that was doing the same thing as me back then. Then I kind of saw something on Twitter all of a sudden. It was an introduction to machine learning class. It was being organized by Data Science Nigeria at the time um, at their office in Yaba. So I was like, okay, let me go there and see what's up. Lo and behold, when I went there, I saw so many people flooded the place. Like they came to learn data. Like they were like my kind of people that have been learning themselves, self-taught. But they actually came to class that day and was like, okay, cool, let's see what these guys are going to say. And funny enough, all the things I thought I knew then, when I was teaching myself, when I was being self-taught, I realized I didn't know anything. Because when people started explaining, I was like, oh, so like I was watching logistic regression. I was like, okay, this is okay, it's just to call from SKLearn or blah, 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 I bought logistic regression and okay, just run it. I didn't really understand the math behind it. I didn't understand the foundation. But when I went to the class that day and I saw people taking class, I saw people teaching, I was okay. It was nice. And when I was stuck, I was able to ask questions that would answer me on the spot. I was like, okay, I can't lie to you. After that class, I had a different understanding of data. Because initially, I thought it was just computer, just go on Jupyter Notebook, Python, and blah, 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 blah. Um, import Python libraries and stuff but then I was now able to understand okay this is what this actually does this is when to use logistic regression this is when to use decision trees and this is like different algorithms for different use cases but then I just thought as long as it's a classification uh, model you can just use anyone just use anyone but I didn't really understand why you needed to use one for a particular task so basically going to that class that they actually gave me a broad overview it's um, gave me a deeper in, insight into the world of data, into data science. 
you have any problem go and start overflow yeah people might say all your answers every answer you're looking for in the world of tech you find it on stack overflow but trust me brainstorming with a group of people in an institution is way better than going on stack overflow because different ideas will just be pouring i'm sure you know you solve the task and you'll be able to understand okay why you solved it like this why you took this direction why you did this compared to just going on stack overflow and copying code and pasting and you know um so basically data academies they're top notch and i'll basically advise anybody that wants to learn data science to have a data academy in mind and even after the inst- even after the classes and stuff you still have the connections so to say you still have a relationship with your fellow classmates with your teachers there are lots of opportunities to be shared amongst um, everybody another thing about data academies in the world of data right learning alone can be boring most times trust me it can be really 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 boring and most times you might not have the resources to be able to learn by yourself like in a place like nigeria where the network is always terrible um no lights money for four every day four keeps increasing and so many things like that you might not actually have those resources but when you can have like lots of these data schools these days i know of sony analytics we do free classes we don't charge anybody for anything if you have any questions you can just hit us up and we'll consult for you free of charge we don't really charge because we're trying to build a community of data enthusiasts and data scientists in nigeria it's way cheaper than learning by yourself most people might not agree with this but trust me it's way cheaper because the time you're going to use to learn by yourself when you compare it to going to a class an academy and just letting them teach you trust me it's going to be way way cheaper <laughs> you you understand so many things in this in a small period of time but when you're learning by yourself it might take you like two months to understand what regression means another thing with data academy is when it comes to the world of data right it opens you to a world of innovations right when you're with people people of like minds when you're people that are better than you when you're people you're better than when you're just with people generally different ideas start coming in different ideas there's a place in lagos called co-creation hub cc hub it's around somewhere in yaba when you go to that place the atmosphere is different so to say the atmosphere is different because you're seeing you're seeing people that are trying to do stuff you're seeing people trying to come up with ideas every day and it's always challenging for for a fellow tech person or somebody in tech okay you'll be there you'll be like hmm, okay somebody's working on something for you know an idea can just come into your head and be like okay let me work on this let me work on this let me work on this for you know, ideas can start coming in different directions different folds and it will be easier for you like same thing applies to data academy right most data academies they give opportunities to people to they organize trainings and seminars and stuff most of them even have hubs these days incubation hubs they can give opportunities to say okay come and pitch so so and so idea you have come and pitch so so and so innovation like there's a dsn bootcamp i was part of and there was an opportunity for people to come and pitch different research projects and different ideas they had and stuff so it's all when you hear people talking like that in class You'll just be you'll be fascinated you'll be like you'll be amazed you'll be like wow okay these are ideas and this is that working on it you go ginger you so you get you go ginger you so give you that kind of ginger to say okay oh well somebody can do this okay i can work on this i can work on this i can work on this but being at home most times it can just actually make you lazy now yesterday at the office right we had a knowledge sharing session we do that every friday at the office and one of the dev managers brought up a topic he was like now Let's have a debate, remote work or not remote work. So everybody was saying remote work, remote work, why? Because um, time you're using commuting, you can use it to be at, the, at home, just have your pants on or singlet or something and be working. And before you know, you'll be making progress, but that time you spend it in Lagos traffic. And when you're going back home, you'll be tired before you sleep and stuff. But when you're at home, you're just, okay, fine, cool, cool. Then he asked one simple question, right? It was like, for a dev just coming up, somebody just starting up in the data world, right? Or in the tech industry, right? You are new in a company and you've been onboarded. Now you want, you have questions. You, have, you want to learn how the company operates. You want to learn the kind of services and um, the functionalities, like their stuff in their code base and how they, basically how they operate, right? Is it easier for somebody working remotely or will it be easier for somebody on site? And everybody was like, oh, okay, true, it's on site because 
everybody so but in one other guy now stood up and said okay yeah that's on site because he joined the company two months ago and they said he could grasp everything in less than one week self like because he was around developers and he was around people that work on the same project and if he was at home he does not think he would have been able to grasp it in um, such a short period of time and that's the same thing that applies to data academics when you're around people that do the same thing as you, you'd easily understand everything. You'd easily grasp everything you're saying, right? Um, so to say, data academy is just make it they basically make it easier for everybody that wants to understand data because you'll be around like minds and you understand everything simplified, like in a simplified level, right? So they'll break it down for you and you'll be around, you'll just be around like minds that basically want to understand this thing you're doing basically so yeah so basically data academies give you a much easier approach to understanding data it gives you a wider scope it's like makes you understand it in a wide sense not just you focusing on oh this is what linear regression does this is what this does instead you'll be able to understand it from the foundation up you'll be able to understand how neural networks operate you'll be able to understand so many things like at first i was a data scientist right I figured, okay, I'm just going to focus on data science. I only need a skill job. A skill will be for the data engineer to just, or the data analyst to just prepare the data and give me. But when I went to classes, I understood that, okay, the data scientist actually needs the knowledge of SQL, actually needs to understand Power BI, actually needs to understand Tableau or some other visualization tools. It's not just Python and Excel and stuff. You always get your data in CSV format to process and stuff like that, build your models around it. So, it was when I went to classes and I understood, okay, hmm, hands-on sessions and stuff. It's not help you understand, okay, I need to do this, I need to know this. But when you're just alone, you just be like, like I get so many messages, right? People hit me up a lot and be like, I want to learn data analytics. Which should I learn first? Excel or Python? That's what so many people tell me. And what I tell them is, why do you want to learn Python? I said, oh, I heard it's good for data analytics, it's good for this, it's good for that, okay. Why do you want to learn Excel? Oh, because everybody uses Excel and everybody they really don't know what they're using Excel for. Everybody uses Excel. Let me just learn Excel. Let me learn Excel. I'll be like, hmm, okay. If you want to get started in the world of data analytics and data science, right? First things first, you need to understand what you're going into. Don't just go into it because everybody's going into it. Everybody's data analysts. People are looking for data analytics. People, people are looking for data scientists. No, go for one or two classes, random classes in the world of data. Just, just go there and, and learn from people and see, okay, is this something I want to partake in? If it's something I have to partake in, that's when you can now come and say, okay, how do I go in this direction, right? Not just jumping into it like, oh, everybody's going into it, jump into it, okay. When you now come and say, okay, this is something I really want to do, right? First things first, you have to learn Excel. First things first, because that's the most widely used tool in the world of data today, for being honest with everybody. You have to learn Excel. Excel can basically do everything, just not on a big data level it's exceeded to it's limited to 1.48 million rows right first things first you have to learn excel when you're on your own learning at home you feel mm, you don't need to learn excel you just need python just need python but when you are around people that's when you now know that okay python is not just the only tool i'm supposed to learn when you're in an academy python is not just the only tool i'm supposed to learn i need to learn tablet i need to learn power bi you won't be limited to just a specific number of tools you also have a broad overview of different tools be like okay i need to know this even if you don't know them at depth like deep down but to an extent you need to understand what this is used for and the likes like that right so basically data academies i'll advise anybody that wants to get started in the world of data science to um, try and go for a couple of classes in the data academy right there are so many classes even if you, you can't do on-site classes or physical classes there are virtual classes there are online conferences and stuff but just try and go to a couple of them couple of classes just just take a couple of classes and you understand better how data academies can actually help you understand your data more because you realize you don't know anything when yourself touch you really don't know anything right i know people might say it's better when you make the mistake and you correct yourself nah. personally it takes a long time time you waste on on making a mistake and correcting yourself when you go to the data academy or somebody that has made those mistakes before person can just easily correct you in 20 seconds and trust me you won't forget after that again you won't forget after that again so basically data academies can help you aid can aid your data analytics process can aid your learning easier and make it much faster so thank you for coming to this pep talk mm. all right you are out